All right, good morning. Welcome back. We are up and running. Joining me now is Tawila Washington. She's the Director of Case Management for Communities and Schools of Jacksonville. Good morning, Twyla. It's nice to finally see your face. I know, right? We've been trying this morning. Technology, I tell you. Wait. Glad to have me. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, we were talking about how kids can sometimes have a fog while on uh, vacation, you know, winter break coming up. Now, while typically it's not as drastic as summer, students can still regress a little bit. So how can we avoid this over this winter break? Well, of course, definitely have fun. I know that uh, it's break and, and a lot of the students are excited about it but definitely incorporate it into your everyday activities actually by actually cooking or um, coming up with different recipes, playing board games even, you know, reading the instructions. Playing Uno is cool because it teaches color, especially for your elementary school students. They're still able to focus on those things. That is awesome. And I know it's also important to know that learning can affect any child, but particularly it can affect elementary school children and low income students the hardest. Absolutely. Um, so definitely if you can um, find fun ways, like I said, ABC Mouse definitely has a free tutorial for 30 days. So that's great. A lot of your online platforms are able to do that as well. Um, like I said, make it fun. Um, the, I think Jacksonville um, Parks, the city of Jacksonville has a free holiday camp. A boot camp is only for this week, but that's still to keep the students engaged. The biggest thing is still keep them to a routine as much as possible. I know we're out on break, but if you can stay close to a schedule, it'll be great. I know Santa definitely will want to do this a little bit a little earlier on Christmas Eve, so. <laughs> Now, we have to be honest, we're dealing with kids on vacation. You know, kids want to sleep in. It's, it could be a little challenging to keep them on schedule. Do you have any tips on how parents can do that to help with this engagement and keep them on track? Um, absolutely. Um, still, uh, some parents may even still have to work. So to some kind of way, make it engaging but fun but still stick to a routine because we know um, it's only a few weeks out. And for some students, when they come back, they may have some assignments, unfortunately, that they may need to stay focused, but just different tips to stay engaged, um, but make it fun. You know, it, it's before you know it, it would be time to be 2022, so. Yeah, that is so true. 2022 is right around the corner. Well, thank you so much to Isla Washington. These tips were so helpful and they're gonna help so many families with students who are going to avoid that brain fog this winter because of you. Thank you again. Awesome. Thank you as well.